This is our vacuum pressure controller that controls a vacuum pump to maintain a specific range of vacuum pressure in a tank or other vacuum containing device. The vacuum pressure controller connects to a tank from this pressure sensor which reads vacuum pressure. The pressure sensor has a range of negative 115 to 0 kilopascals which is 34 to 0 inches of mercury. The current reading that this pressure sensor is reading is displayed in inches of mercury at the top of the LCD display. The vacuum pressure controller controls controls a vacuum pump when the pressure passes two specific thresholds controlled by these two trimmer, trimmer potentiometers, and can be turned by a small screwdriver. We elected to use trimmers since the high and low thresholds would be set for a specific application and maintained for that purpose and not be changed. The trimmer on the left controls the low end of the desired pressure range and is shown here on the LCD. The trimmer on the right controls the high end of the desired pressure range and is shown here on the LCD. The number shown here is in inches of mercury. When the vacuum in the tank is below the low end threshold, the relay will engage, turning the vacuum pump on. During this time, the vacuum in the tank will be rising, which will be shown here. When the vacuum rises above the high end threshold, the relay will disengage, turning the vacuum pump off. It is important to have a vacuum pump that is capable of creating a vacuum higher than your high end threshold. For instance, if the high end threshold is say 30 inches of mercury and the vacuum pump is only capable of achieving 25 inches of mercury, the vacuum pump will continually run. The controller is powered by five volts and can come from the computer's USB port or a five volt wall adapter. The positive wire is connected to this terminal and the ground wire is connected to this terminal. A hose is connected from the pressure sensor to where the vacuum is contained, such as a tank. The vacuum pump is turned on and off using this relay, and the circuit is connected to this terminal. One way to control a vacuum pump is to just wire the power cable through the relay where either the neutral or live wire passes through the relay. In this case, I am using the neutral wire, which is the white wire. The bottom terminal is one side of the relay switch which is right here. The top terminal is a normally open connection and the middle terminal is the normally closed position. Since I want the motor to turn on when the relay is engaged, I will use the normally open positions. So when the relay is engaged, these two positions are connected. If wired this way, the relay can handle a vacuum pump up to 250 volts and 12 amps. Alternatively, if your vacuum pump has a trigger that uses a signal level connection, you can use that connection through this relay as well. We use this controller to keep a vacuum at the nozzle of our pick and place machine. Other applications for this controller to maintain vacuum could be a vacuum table for a CNC machine, plastic molding process, vacuum clamping, medical suction equipment, and many others. I'm going to demonstrate the use of this, of this sensor. I'm going to change the, the low end to about seven or eight, six. And the high end, I'm gonna to change to a little bit lower because my own suction can only get to get up to about 15. So I'm going to create a vacuum and you'll see the, the number here change, the inches of mercury here. And you'll see, you'll hear the click from the relay when it passes 11. And then you'll hear another click from the relay when it goes under six. There you go. Thank you for watching.